hello from one of the recommended books yes i'm talking about john langan's english skills you will understand the main uses of capital letters in writing in a sentence the first word starts with the capital letter and of course the direct quotation also starts with the capital letter for example the students are waiting outside for their class full stop so the very first word the it will be starting that means t will be starting with the capital letter when it's related to direct quotation or to understand the first word in a sentence or direct quotation we can make another new sentence where it will be starting the first word with a capital letter like the teacher said comma that means after writing the write t capital after writing the teacher said put a comma and start the sentence with quotation marks and write what is your name question mark and after that quotation marks will be closed that means what is your name what w will be capital the names of persons and of course the word i will always be capital in writing suppose the sentence is like this my friend and i are watching tv full stop you started my friend my m will be capital and you started i just after writing my friend and i i will be capital as a word i will always be capital in writing for names of persons capital letters will be there for example george and zinia are coming full stop that means G will be capital for the name of George and Zinia Z will be capital for the names of particular places we use capital letters whether the word is used in the middle of a sentence or not there will be no capital but small letters if there is no specific name of the particular place for example they graduated from the university there is no specific university when the sentence has the specific name of the place capital letters will be used here for example they graduated from oxford university so the name of the university is here specific name of the university or even it's related to they are from united kingdom so uk will be capital letter it can be related to they are from usa or he or she has come from texas so you are going to write t capital for texas capital letters are used with names of days of the week months and holidays for example my brother will be coming on sunday full stop s will be capital for sunday that means for names of days of the week for month if you write my favorite month is october for the month october o will be capital if you write my favorite month is february because i am fond of leap year full stop that means you mention the name of the month and february f will be capital when it's related to holidays suppose you are talking about i am fond of my holidays that means tomorrow is christmas day c and d will be capital if you write like durga puja is coming d and p will be capital if you write like idul fitr or idul azha e will be capital 
you will be small and after that after writing id put hyphen and write u l you will be small letter and after that put hyphen write feather f i t r f will be capital if it's related to any other holidays like halloween or even easter sunday or ide miladun nabi like buddha purnima so b will be capital and purnima p will be capital for holidays for the names of commercial products we use capital letters for example my students love to play monopoly full stop that means m will be capital when it's related to the type of the product suppose mouthwash cigarette you will be using small letters but if you think that the sentence is mentioning the name of the commercial products like sensodyne or even uh, pepsodent or colgate or even it's related to the means or even gums or even mouthwash and if it's related to m and m it will be capital capital letters are also used for the names of the organizations and even political groups religious groups associations companies clubs and unions the sentence will be perfect and there will be no error in the sentence if we use the capital letter appropriately so in the middle of the sentence if you get the names of the organizations like religious and political groups associations companies unions and clubs use capital letters capital letters are also used to show the title of the books magazines newspapers articles stories poems films television shows songs papers that you write and the like for example if you want to say that i am reading the book and the name of the book is english skills so e will be capital for english and skills s will be capital and after the book if you get a name of a magazine in your writing like the newspaper article or even a story poems films or even tv show suppose you are fond of the film and the name of the film is harry potter so h will be capital and p will be capital for harry potter and if it's related to tv show or even any other movies write capital letter if it's related to songs popular songs if it's related to michael jackson's beat it if it's related to every night in my dreams by celine dion so write each letter capital that means e capital for every night n will be capital in my dreams i will be capital my m will be capital and dreams d will be capital besides this some other uses of capital letters are here and most importantly this is related to show the family relationships for example if you want to say that i would like to see my grandfather or my grandmother g will be small because you used possessive pronoun here if the sentence starts with i went with grandfather i go with grandmother that means there is no possessiveness that is why we are using capital letter here i went with uncle you will be capital i am fond of my auntie but there will be no capital letter for auntie a will be small because i used my auntie if it's related to they are going to the church with aunt lucy that means there is no possessiveness here that's why aunt lucy a will be capital and lucy 
you all know that this is related to one, someone's name. So, L will also be capital here. Titles of persons. When use their names, use capital letter there. If we don't see there is no specific names, there will be no capital letter. That means small letters will be there if it's related to the titles, but there is no specific names. For example, I have seen the professor. I have seen the senator. So there is no name here. Specific name is not mentioned. That's why we are not using capital letters for senator or professor here. If the name is here, suppose president someone or if it's related to prime minister Sheikh Hasina, we are going to use P M capital and Sheikh Hasina S and H will be capital. If it's related to Dr. Helen, D will be capital, Helen H will be capital. If it's related to senator or even congresswoman, titles of persons with their names will be using capital letters, both with the titles and with the names. If we see that the sentence has only the titles, but there is no names, that means we are not going to use capital letters. It will be small letter. Capital letters will be used for the specific names. Capital letters are also used for specific school courses. But there will be no capital letters. That means small letters will be used for the general subject areas. For example, he or she is enjoying business courses or psychology courses or even language courses. These are general subject areas. That's why there will be no capital letter for psychology, for language, or even for business course. If it's related to specific school courses like accounting part one, or if it's related to human behavior, suppose someone is fond of, my friend is fond of human behavior. H and B will be capital. Or someone is saying, I am not good at accounting one. That means Roman one. So A will be capital. Because these subjects are from specific school courses. For languages, use capital letters. Suppose you are good at English. So E will be capital. And if you say that, I am not good at French. So F will be capital. My friend knows Chinese language very well. Full stop. That means Chinese language. C will be capital for language. They know German but speak Spanish. Full stop. So G will be capital for German and S will be capital for Spanish. Capital letters are also used for geographical location. But for direction, we don't use capital letters. We use small letters for direction. For example, my friend moved from east, E will be capital, to the west coast. W and C will be capital for west coast. So, this is all about geographical location. You are showing someone has moved from east, that means E will be capital, and he or she shifted to west coast. W and C will be capital for west coast. For duration, would you mind showing the university? Question mark. Someone is showing you the direction and you are using small letters for the direction. I know the direction of the university. It is at the north end of the town. Full stop. That means you wrote north. N will be small because it's all about direction. In a sentence, we use capital letters 
when it's related to historical periods or events. Suppose you are writing, I don't know anything about Second World War. That means S for second, it will be capital. For Second World War, S, W and W will be capital to show the historical events and historical periods as well. For example, I heard about civil war in the last class, full stop. That means civil war, C and W will be capital. When we write a letter, we use capital letters by mentioning dear sir, dear madam or dear friends. So D will be capital, sir S will be capital or madam M will be capital or even friend F will be capital. But make sure when you end your sentence by using sincerely yours, S will be capital but yours Y will be small letter. And if you end the letter by using yours forever, yours forever, so Y will be capital but forever or ever it will not be capital, it will be small letter. Thank you so much everybody for listening. I hope this video will help you to understand or to make some sentences for your capital letters. Best of luck. Take care.